Hello everyone and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year because this might be my last video for this year so I'll try to be short uh, this time and um, I'll try to say a few things about the, the NVLink connection and the monitor and how those two things should be uh, bound together or you should buy one considering the, the monitor or the other way around so uh, if you have the money for for let's say for a second 2080 ti my advice is uh, don't buy it don't make an empty link because there are just very few titles out there that can take advantage of this kind of connection and um, it's just uh, simply to put it's just a waste of money if you have those kind of money just invest it in something else i don't know uh, more RAM or a uh, much better monitor or more space, uh, you know, all all these kind of things. Um, but for those who who already have a MV MV link, like me, the signs are good. Like, for example, in uh, in the last title that I've tested here, Jedi Fallen Order, uh, the boost in performance is. 50% or more depending on the settings uh, as you could see in the in the previous video so we, we don't know exactly what the future will uh, will bring maybe maybe next year we will witness um, let's say rebirth of the of the slide or MV link uh, we will see now second thing the monitor you know a few times some time ago the monitor was the was the component that was less very like the last thing that was on your mind when you were building a building a system like this now the the monitor is very bound to to the gpu because um you know if you're getting a 2080 ti for me uh, personally it's good to have a monitor that is uh has a 4K native resolution with as high refresh rate as possible. And uh, they are not very, you don't have a very large list in this kind of, uh, in those kind of uh, requirements. So I chose the, the one from, from Asus, the PG27UQ for 4K in 144 Hertz. And this monitor, let me tell you, it's amazing. It's changed. It's changed the gaming for me, hundred percent, hundred and ten percent. The games never look the same again. And um, ref uh, referring to the two hundred and forty hertz monitor, if you're not playing, if you're not planning to. Um, to use the 4K resolution a lot, then go for it. Because, you know, uh, 1918 by uh, 1920 is still the most uh, use, used resolution for, for gamers. And um, with this kind of graphic card, you can you can reach those, uh, those refresh rates. So if you're not looking specifically for 4K gaming, yeah, go for, for go for a monitor that has refresh rates as high as possible. Keeping in mind that I'm supposing that you're gonna get one of those uh, those uh, graphic cards. Uh, if not, then make sure that your GPU can reach the refresh rates that your monitor is capable of and um yeah that was it i wish you well a very very happy new year and um best wishes for all of you and big thanks for watching this uh this videos following the channel and you know hitting that like button and submission and 